माय नेम इज कैलाश मंत्री आई एम ए लाइफ कोच एंड ए मेंटल हेल्थ कंसल्टेंट फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स वी हैव बीन रिसर्चिंग ऑन मोर देन फिफ्टी मेंटल इलनेसेस एंड वी हैव बीन सक्सेसफुल इन क्योरिंग ऑल विदाउट मेडिसिन टूडे विल बी टॉकिंग ऑन एंगजाइटी डिसऑर्डर नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज एंगजाइटी एंड वॉट इज डिसऑर्डर द डिक्शनरी मीनिंग ऑफ एंगजाइटी इज कॉन्स्टेंट वरी नर्वसनेस अनइजीनेस विच कम थ्रू अनसर्टेंटी इन लाइफ नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज ए डिसऑर्डर डिसऑर्डर मीन्स ए स्टेट ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन सो नॉर्मली इन एंगजाइटी वॉट इज सीन इज रेस्टलेसनेस Now let's understand anxiety disorder through a story. One person was traveling from Mumbai to Pune in a bus and he did not had a watch. After some time he inquired with the co-passenger that what is the time. Co-passenger got the message but he pretended he pretended as if as if he has not heard. He put his hand on the watch so that you know nobody is able to see he is wearing a watch. After a while he again asked the same co-passenger sir please tell the time no the other person started saying i know why you are asking time by asking the time you only want to talk to me so negative person is very logical if i start talking to you we will have some references if we have some references we will meet again if we meet again you will come to my house if you come to my house you meet my daughter and when you meet my daughter you feel like dating to her you will take her out and you will come back and say i like your daughter i want to marry your daughter the person who doesn't have a watch i don't want to marry my daughter with that person so why should i tell the time now if you live your life in this pattern you get anxiety you yourself imagine if this thing happens then that will happen if that will happen that will that will happen and you keep on thinking the whole story in a negative way and you become nervous you become uneasy and that is called anxiety that means only people who are fearful who have nervousness who have negative approach who are confused will invite this disease now one thing is sure all human beings have anxiety it is a god given quality and why they have anxiety is they are above animals and below god their desire is to create something similar to what god is doing now this conflict of desire to do something uh, and the role of fear and anger to stop us from doing something creates a worry in us now let's really understand what is a worry the research says that 40% of the worries are about things that will never happen like tsunami like earthquake but the person worries about it if it happens then what another 30% worries are about something which had happened in the past and cannot be undone but person gets stuck at it as it why those things happen in my life and now there is no answer and person is not willing to take responsibility so he doesn't get the answer of why the answer of why is simple that you are responsible you are messing up your life but the egoistic mind is not willing to accept that all mess up which are happening in my life i am responsible and of course ego brings misery and misery brings ego so this 70% worries are avoidable in our life but a negative person is not able to see anything good in that yes if you learn something from it the story disappears from your mind but a fearful person negative person doesn't learn anything from his mistakes third worry is about the rejections the criticisms the feedbacks which you receive from our parents elderly people outside world since we are not aware of our mistakes we are not able to see why there is so much criticism about us the fourth worry is about the health people have not lived their life and they are not willing to die the moment anything happens in their body slight heartbeat change and they worry and they create anxiety this almost constitutes 92% of our worry which are useless and these 92% worries are the major cause of anxiety disorder the majority of cases which come to us are all related to health that we have got a panic attack our heartbeat has increased sweating has increased and we have a feeling that we will die when i ask them how many times this happens and since when it is happening they say it is 2 to 3 years and 3 to 5 times in a year we have this feeling of we may die 
when I tell them that still you are alive, there is nothing which has happened in your body. It is your mind which is creating all these stories, all these worries, and you got the panic attack. Majority of the anxieties we cure in 10 days, and in worst case scenario, we may take 30 days. And basically, we have to deal with their fear, nervousness, worries, uneasiness, and we have to make them comfortable in uncertain moments and uncertainty is unavoidable life is a flux anything can happen at any time and we should learn to live with it majority of the people who have got anxiety disorder focus on the problems of their life and the very few people in the world focus on the opportunities of life now problems and opportunities are the two sides of the same coin Wherever there are problems, there are opportunities. And wherever there are opportunities, there are problems. That means every problem has some opportunity in it and every opportunity has some problem into it. It's a question of which side you are looking. The way people get into anxiety are first focusing on wrong things and second by asking wrong questions. And the type of people who get anxiety are weak people, helpless people, uneducated people or people who lack knowledge about life and our strategy is to increase their confidence to make them courageous to make them powerful and we give different experiences and life related coaching as to how to live what is the purpose of your life and to make them take small small risk which increase their confidence and which helps them in coming out of anxiety disorder confusion is natural because we have many minds sometimes we want to do this sometimes we want to do that and we are not able to decide what is the right thing for us we have a three point formula as to whom to listen in life all things related to body like when to eat what to eat when to sleep how much to sleep when to go for urination toilet when to take bath when to enjoy sex with whom to enjoy sex these are bodily activities and one should listen only to the body and not to the mind. Then there are things wherein calculations, planning, strategizing are involved like business and in those situations one should listen to the mind. Now there is a third category wherein you know life impacting decision has to be taken. It's like with whom to have friendship, who should be your life partner, who should be your business partner, what is the right career options we have. All these big decisions should be taken by heart only. And this is an area where majority people do mistakes and thus it brings anxiety disorder. We are 100% confident of curing this disease and we have cured it also in 10 days. In a day we spend 10 to 12 hours coaching and guiding the patients and roughly 100 hours are sufficient to treat anxiety disorder. Now let's understand what are the present prevailing treatment options people have for anxiety disorder. Let me tell you medicine has got no role to play in curing anxiety disorder. But first people go to a psychiatrist, he gives them some anti-anxiety pills and for some time they feel good also because what the tablet does is weakens the nerves and make them sleep and it is a way of forcing them that they should not think second option people has got is go to a psychotherapist he will keep on 